to Wolf Farms. I'm Dawn, also known as Knitting Wolf. And I'm James, also known as Wolf Photo. This podcast is brought to you by Wolf Farms. You can find us on the internet at wolffarms.net. We have a sense of the month every month. And for the month of October, it is candy corn. This is a calorie-free way of getting your candy fix. you got soaps, lotions, even lip balms. And you get the taste, but... And no the... red dye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no red dye. Yeah, all of our products are, are kind of geared towards... We don't put dyes or colorants in those just so... What? Are you talking? Yeah, we don't put <laughs> he that says, no, in that's... colorings. <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah, it's, it's geared, geared for those people with uh, skin allergies and stuff. Because it's really Dawn's... Dawn's the, t- the guinea pig. We tested on her, and if, if, if it works for her, then that generally means it works for everybody else because you're sensitive to just about everything. So mm-hmm. that's why we started doing it in the first place. So anyways, but I uh, want to welcome new and returning viewers. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we got uh, a couple segments uh, to go through today. It'll probably be a quick podcast, though. We'll, we'll see. And those segments include farm happenings, which is a quickie, Farmer's Almanac, In the Coop, Flown the Coop, Squeal Like a Pig, In the Arena, and Roundup. Yeah. So right. our farm happenings. This I don't know. It's kind of a light, light week. Yeah. It, things went right by, and but we did do a Fuji trip down for her chemo, and that was mm-hmm. our uh, Saturday That's an all-day outing. All day outing. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving the wee early in the morning. <laughs> Starting the wee hours of the day and head on down because it, it takes a while to get down there and then the time to go and then the time to get back. And of course we gotta stop for lunch and, and Fuji is our apple head chihuahua that has lymphoma and this is her second round of chemo and yep. actually at this hospital that we go to, this is her last visit there. So it was saying goodbye and yep. getting emails and Facebook names yeah. and Instagram and yeah the oncologist that uh, Fuji was seeing is actually moving to a different facility it's actually closer to to our house by a little bit so we're actually <laughs> moving over to that we're following the doctor and some of the nurse nurses or I guess what vet techs or how yeah. are follow, going over with her so um, some of them are going to be familiar faces over there but not everybody so we, it was kind of the, the goodbye, farewell kind of to the, the group that's staying behind. So, kind of... Tears. <laughs> kind of sad, but yeah. uh, at least, like I said, the oncologist is great. And so that's the reason why we're, we're going to follow her over to the new facility. So, we'll, That'll we'll see be what in happens. three weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, we're having to switch her chemo up a little bit in order to work to, it around where it's schedule. on... schedule. Your RDO, so yeah, I have I, every other Friday I'm off from work, and so I'm trying to get it onto that schedule because she's not going to be the oncologist won't be available on Saturdays, yeah, so. and so we're going to have to shift it to the weekdays, and we're going to try and get it set up on a Friday so that we can go down and and take care of stuff on my day off where I don't have to take time off from work. So, yep. so that'll work out uh, hopefully good because we got kind of got it set up to fall on that day. The only problem is is the first trip down is the week that I'm supposed to be calling in for jury duty. So hopefully I get a pass or um, am free on that Friday, you know. Mm-hmm. But either that or I'll, I'll just have to delay it. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yep. So we have a question in our new segment, which is Farmer's Al- Almanac. Almanac. <laughs> Almanac. <laughs> Almanac. <laughs> so, and our first question is from Knit Pearl Girl, and she asks, what is your favorite pair of hand-knit socks that you own? Hmm. That's easy for you, because you've only knit one pair. Well, I've knit, I've knit some, and you've knit some for me. So yeah. I've actually got a couple pairs. So I'll say the ones that Dawn gave me, because she made them. So they're much, <laughs> much more special to me than the ones that I slaved over, but... You know, and it's also the Wolf Farm colorway, mm-hmm. the Desert Vista dye work. So yeah, so I, I've only got a couple. Don keeps talking about she's she's actually working on a pair for me now. Yeah, um, I've got a, That's the Operation sock drawer that I need to work on because mine is overflowing. So yeah, so you're gonna try and knit me some 
colorful socks for my work attire. Yeah. <laughs> so. so my favorite would have to be some I did back in 2008 because these are my go-to socks. And yes, I said 2008. <laughs> and they're done in, it was a wool girl sock club. They're done in Mama Llama yarn, which is 100% wool, which a lot of my socks are. A lot of them do not have nylon. So, and they, I wear them all the time. So 2008 to now is what? That's six years. Six years, and they're still fine. And... Uh, the pattern was Reina by Lisa Dixtra. The color's a little faded now, but they still look exactly the same. Yeah, you wear those all the time. Mm -hmm. I can attest to that. Yeah. So these are my favorite because, I don't know, they're just cushy. Yeah, you should take a picture of your sock drawer. I have. <laughs> oh, okay. I put yeah. it on uh, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, you got a mountain of hand knit socks. Yeah. So, but yeah, you do always wear those. So. Yeah, those are. I'd have to say my very favorite because that, that's hard because you make them to fit you. So, you know, there's a couple that are more tighter. I think because of the weight of the yarn. But yeah. Yeah. But this was a fun pattern and an awesome club and so yeah, those would have to be my favorite. So what are your favorites? You know, you guys in this week's thread can answer the same question. You know, what is your favorite, you know, socks that you've done and the yarn you did it in? Did it in? Is it because of the yarn that they're your favorite? Or, you the know, pattern, is it the pattern? Or, or the toe or the heel? I know you've yeah. got your favorite toe that you put in and the, yeah, the, you like the kiss lips. Kiss, fish, lip, fish lips, 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 kiss, kiss heel. heel. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> yep. I know you like that heel, so. It's just fun, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's, I don't think I've worn it yet, but mm -hmm. I don't think they feel any different. But no, I know I've worn my socks and I wear your socks. Oh, that's true. Do you feel anything different in the heel? Mm, not so much, but I'm not the princess in the pea where I feel every little, you know, bump in the road, so to speak, so. Yeah. They, they were a little tight getting on, the ones that I did, mm. you know. But so I think I, when I do my next pair, I need to make it a little bit wider or loose, be a little more relaxed when I'm knitting it. Hmm. So, but other than that, they're good. I might have to have you try on these ones because I think I'm using mm. the same same that I knit the yeah. count. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll try it. It was more getting it over my heel than anything. Mm. So, you learn something new every day. Yeah, maybe I should do the, uh, I know uh, Stockinette Zombies has an OMG heel. Try yeah. a different heel on you. Okay. So, in the coop, let's see. I've worked a little bit on my scrappy happy blanket. And I have one, two, four Philippas that Philippa sent me one, two, and these are Portugal yarns. They're, they're Loco Xavier or Lopo hmm. Xavier. And then this one is a Gnome Acres. This is another Portugal yarn. And then I've gotten out Kitty Man Cat's uh, bag that she sent me. And these three are from her, but it is the mustache yarn Olaf. Hmm. <laughs> And, and I never do this. I never use the same skein for three, but it's a self-striping, so each one ended up being different was colors. different, you know, because it had all the different colors, and, you know, you had to have Olaf, the little snowman <laughs> from Frozen, so, you know, I'm like, and each one is completely different, you know. Would so. you do trim off the remaining until you got to the new color? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it works because it yeah, looks like three different colors. Yeah. Uh, and mustache Certainly. yarn is so soft and gushy, and yes, I had to. So, yep, I got my seven squares in. It's about half of a, no, it's a quarter of a row. So, cool. yep, that's a fun project. Yeah, and this thing is, it's huge. It's See. all... The upside is we're heading into uh, fall and winter where it's going to cool down where you don't yeah. cook yourself by knitting, having that on your lap when you're knitting. 
Well, I open the windows in the morning when we're actually in the 45 degree mm-hmm. time. And you're freezing, so I can you're freeze freezing. myself and suck the cold air in. So when it's hot during the day, the house is nice and cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're getting to the point where it doesn't get warm during the day. Well, we don't have to worry about it so much. That's so. true. But yeah. Then I started the Sowing the Seeds Cow by Zena Perry. Let me show you this. It's a fingering weight cow. Really pretty. And this is for Pink Tober with a Knitting Din and Cat B913 uh, Knit Nerd. Totally went blank. And this is done in Bijou Basin Ranch, and it's 200 yards of yak down and super fine merino and it was the one of the outlander colorways something heather mm. and so i've done one repeat of the uh and these are size fives everything is on a size five right now and uh, this is one repeat of the pattern it's a 20 row pattern so, yeah. Um, it, the yarn is nicer as I'm working with it. It's softening you know, yeah. up. Just... It feels like old terry cloth robe to me is what it feels <laughs> like. I mean, when you think of yak, you would think it's more scrumptious like cashmere blend. And hmm. this feels like a... That's what it feels like. It's an just old terry cloth towel. Rougher than you were expecting. More, I don't know what the, it's, it's soft enough. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase it again. <laughs> Just my it opinion. It wasn't to what you were For expecting. as much as it is. Yeah. Yeah. There's other stuff There's, that's yeah. softer. But it's fun to try new stuff and it's going to be nice and, but yeah. Because hmm. I have a big terry cloth robe and that's what it feels like, you know, that, <laughs> it's still pretty so yeah <laughs> and it's in my kiki boo bag a little gnome bag and then I had to start another it was I guess cast on itis this week and uh, I guess I'll have to show that in a minute show what in a minute what you're working on well no the bag oh, because I that's that's in the squeal like a pig so this is Desert Vista Dye Works in her Viso Base Holiday Stripe. Red, green, white. Very Christmassy. Yep, and these are for James. And so I started these the other day. And uh, got a little bit. I use the Lauren McMorty Limnet Crochet Toe. And that's found in any of her sock patterns. So and then I just knit and then I'll do a heel, probably fish lips, because that's fun. And that's a little vintage rose candy cane stitch marker size. So, so one's in the holiday season, if, as you can tell. <laughs> well, I want these done so you have them the whole month of Christmas. And, and I put little, our soaps in the bag so it's like mm, it even smells cane. like Christmas yeah so yep cool so I've got those going and keep, keep that out in handy I know that's why I'm like hmm. so, so what's in your coop in my coop I am working on our shared uh, project which is I'm gonna put, show a picture oh okay show a picture. Hyla Brook which is by Paula Emons Feasley And we're doing that in what yarn? Oh, this is the Fuji... Uh, Fuji apples. Apple colorway. Knitter's way. nightmare. Yeah, so... And I need to ask her what she soaks her yarn in because I haven't had to put a soap thing in there because it smells so good. Hmm. Don't you smell it? <laughs> sniff it. Gotta sniff your yarn. Yeah. 
Well, you know, it's the uh, use all your sensory uh, that you have available, right? That's the feel right. and the sniff and the sight, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so we're doing this on size fives, like everything else is on size fives. Dawn's running out of size fives. I had so to order up here. It's cause... becoming a challenge to yeah. do um, do our stuff. So trying to get this all on. Yeah, it's bunched on there. Oh, there we go. There's the little dicky do there. And I'm, I've done my my part on there, which is the, the non lace section. The stocking it. The stocking No, there. garter. Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever. It's it's the non lace section. That's that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's coming along, and uh, so yeah, it's we're we're gaining. It's taking longer and longer as we <laughs> like well, everything and else. It's not so. a priority. It's just no. We do a little bit when we take Fuji down, yeah. and you know, as part of that. So so that's coming along. So that's that's basically all I I've gotten done so far. <laughs> So that's what's in my coop. Yep, so flown the coop. I don't have the thing pulled up for that. Flown the coop. Hmm, wonder what flown the coop. This is the Irish coffee by Thea Coleman. Mm -hmm. And I will stand up. And the yarn is the Targi worsted by uh, Is that Lumos. how much you have left afterwards? Yes, this is it. <laughs> Someone was pushing it close yes. to and so you can tell down oh, there, I wanted to hide that. You know, I went here, I did like four or five inches on this. And then the back even has the, the, pattern. Shot, the pattern going down the back. So. Yeah. Well, you did more on the sleeves than I thought you would get done. Yeah, um, I, uh, I put in my notes I have, because I just wanted... You know, that's even more than a cap sleeve. But. Yeah, I was going to say, I was expecting to, that to be shorter, but, I mean, you really pushed it because... I weighed after <laughs> every row. I took it off. I grabbed my needles from the waist area because I had it, like, where your jeans hit. And I went and I did the arms, and I wrote in my project page what I did because I didn't do it like the pattern at all. I decreased very rapidly like I de decreased two rows then I would knit a row decrease two rows and then I started the ribbing so it would match the bottom of the, the sweater hmm. so yeah I, and I like the arm length okay I was just expecting it to be because the way you were talking it was gonna I well she had it coming down to here and you know I had 600 yards so I was doing this you were cut yeah you used I had cut a out skein that was less yeah. than what was called for yeah and, so. so you like to live on the edge. <laughs> yeah, I was sweating it. And I even put it down because I was scared. I'm like, if I just put it down, you know, maybe the yarn will grow. Because <laughs> there was no way to get more of this yarn. You know, See, where I got it was already gone. See, the meal <laughs> isn't even getting it in for, you know, another cup, three weeks or more. And I'm like... <sighs> See, if yarn only worked that way, you'd just add water and it gets bigger. It's, yeah. It grows like a plant. <laughs> yeah, and it softened up after I soaked it in the soak, you know. It bled a little bit, but yeah. No, it looks good. I like that colorway. It's mm -hmm. uh, foresty. It's... Wear that when we go hiking into the forest and I'll lose you. Yeah. <laughs> you sneak up on me. <laughs> well, I was thinking I would wear it to one of the chemo treatments, but holding Fuji, yeah, she... she blows her coat, you know, because she gets nervous and... Trying to pick little white hairs out of this would be a nightmare. Yeah, so. that's. We've been there with dark shirts and yeah. it's covered, so. But I love how it fits and, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, oh, it's like it's made for me. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Well, it looks good. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love the yarn, too. This Now, I would definitely buy this yarn again. You know, it was fun to work with. It's gushy. And, and this is the one that you were hemming and hawing about getting a different colorway. Yeah. Dawn do doesn't always, she's not a... Uh, I'm not a buyer. I'm more of a window shopper. Yeah. And I'll look at it, and I'll look at it, and Sasha hears me say, Oh, I really want this, and I'll tell him. <laughs> and it goes, and the quantity keeps going down, available like, quantity oh goes gosh, down. I'm like, oh my gosh, got one stain left, and... Yeah, you're not an impulse buyer no. to say that. You're kind of the opposite. You'll fill up your cart and look at it for a week or two. <laughs> yeah. And I hate those shops that they, 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 they totally wipe it out. With yeah. 
because I did that the other day getting my needles and where I was getting them from. Went back to look because I was going to go add a cable and I'm like, cart empty. I'm like, what? Yeah. That's no fun. I uh, know it isn't. See, that's why at Wolf Farms, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ours, our cart st stays there with you mm. for a week or two because we know how people can be. <laughs> <laughs> it helps if you wanted to add something more or yeah you, you're as you're as you're thinking through things you can throw it in and then just buy it all at one time or like yes. audible at least has a wish list so you can keep yeah. adding stuff to your wish yeah you got list. a special audible badge too the procrastinator yeah because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once you have so many books in your uh, library you know you get the procrastinator back because you're not getting through them as quick Let's put that special special title on you huh <laughs> yeah i thought that is so not me and only when it comes to shopping yeah that's yeah that's true <laughs> so where are we i think we're with squeal like a pig it's got wheel like a pig squeal like a pig you gotta say it right that's good i know Hey, so I, uh, oh, yeah. I, uh, I know <laughs> I saw the text come in. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this week I was totally blown away, you know, with two packages in the mail. Jimmy brings them. He's like, wow, what'd you buy? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> and, uh, so Courtney, knit and pearl girl sent to me. She had, she knows how much I love Snoopy. Uh, a Snoopy Christmas bag. And it was so bizarre because, you know, I was actually winding this skein of yarn yeah. as Jimmy was bringing in the mail. You know, and I'm like, See, it, it was all destiny. Just, you it know? all just works out, huh? Or serendipitous. <laughs> you know, yes. I love that movie. That's another good movie. So, yeah, this was totally cool. So, yeah, this, and yeah, you know, I normally wait to hold off till podcast. You see, it's it, already in use. Yeah, it, it has Well, when to. you're winding the yarn for the bag that yeah, comes in the mail, you can't just not use it. And then she sent me a bunch of mini skeins for my blanket. So, Courtney will be in my blanket. And did I say this is so for you? Hmm? So for you at bigcartel.com. Mm. So, I, I don't know if she has more of these ones in the shop i haven't checked on there yet yeah i know so. you love snoopy though so yes. perfect yay so then there was another package that day <laughs> and look at snoopy mm, more snoopy more snoopy and this is from sundaisy 920 and she dyed this yarn and when she was knitting it she was thinking of fuji and me look at oh wow it looks so pretty on camera I didn't even think to look at what pattern this is. It's a beautiful cowl, you know, and it, you can wear it long, or which I love to do, or, you know, and it's big enough to, you know, goosh, and it's really soft, so. Awesome. So, yay! Awesome and green. Mm -hmm. so you love green? I know I love green. Dundee loves green. He does. He'll pick out <laughs> his all his green toys. Fuji used to do that with pink and green. She mm -hmm. would separate them and put them in piles. He yeah. doesn't put them in, he puts he's, them all yeah. over. He, he's still a kid. And yeah. it's, it's funny because we'll take and clean up the, Don cleans up his toys and we put it into one of our rooms that we don't go in too often, into too often. And whenever we go in there, he comes running in and he grabs a toy and he brings it out. And so during the week, he keeps bringing out more toys. Yeah. And then they get the big collection, and at the, the start of the week, got to put them all back, and then he goes through and, you know, but he, whenever he hears that door, he comes running in and goes, because we have a big uh, basket full of uh, toys. Well, I, I cycle them so he doesn't get bored, so yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's getting something new, no, but, no, but yeah. he always, it's a, he does go and grab green toys, that's... And he'll sit and snoop, and then he'll also he, he has to test it. He's yeah. like Don and Yarn. You got to do the feel. He has if he loves toys that make noise. It's it's funny. Mm -hmm. The more noisy, the more he plays with them, and it drives Jimmy batty. This one toy that he's got. Yeah, so. there's a, one little rubber toy that Jimmy hides, <laughs> and, and it's so funny. I don't really hear the difference to the sound of it. But Jimmy is you, like, like if you're clawing on a chalkboard. I mean, he is up out of his out of the office and finding Dundee and taking that toy. 
<laughs> I have no idea where Jimmy has it hidden now. <laughs> hmm, but it's funny. Probably, probably tucked away in a box somewhere. Yeah. So thank you, Courtney and Angie. That was such a big surprise this week. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I was just seeing who was on the chair. Oh, I heard it's uh, Cos Cosmo. Cosmo uh... He's sleeping. Yeah. He says it's podcast it's like, sleep time. <laughs> it's like a good cushy chair. Why not? Yep. So in the arena, I want to mention. What's wrong? I'm just <laughs> I'm paying attention She's to you. Fine. I know why. <laughs> so we have our hatchinet going on and that's where you can enter any of your projects whether they are new or old or weaving or spinning or crochet whatever you finish enter it in yeah. and that could be for a ten dollar gift certificate to wolf farms and then we have our designer along that we're running through the end of the year that's thea coleman mm -hmm. and that's any of her designs and they are awesome this is the second sweater of hers i've knit the cassis and then the irish coffee and phenomenal patterns there is nothing negative she walks you through the whole thing she gives you different options to customize it to you and you can tell it's been testing it because oh, there's yeah. no issues with yeah. you know so phenomenal designer so i know you've been enjoying knitting that i always tell when don's got a, a project that she's enjoying and not just because of the yarn but the pattern and just yeah. everything just is happy 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 <laughs> you know when I, mean? I see her carrying it around the house because yeah. she 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 positions projects throughout the house so depending on what okay she's in the laundry room she'll work on that one she's at the couch she's doing this one she's got some in the bedroom doing Kitchen. that one if i see her carrying a project it's around i know she's enjoying it <laughs> <laughs> you've got to get in a few stitches throughout your day See, i know so yeah i'm wanting to start the vodka lemonade next and uh i need size five needles my topanga has size five needles my sewing the seeds has five ne needles the hyla brook has you know size five needles everything is taking size five and i'm like you've got to be kidding me you know i'm down to using my nitpicks harmonies and i'm <laughs> like no more you know, I just need the Haya Hayas. And yeah. I know so how I'm much you enjoy those. Wait. And you said the Haya Haya now has new cables that yeah, have Yeah, it has the, the little hole. So when you can put in a lifeline, like the Knit Picks has that little hole in the base. So you can spread a string. And while you're knitting, it will put the lifeline in for you. So that's yep. it. Just got to check those out. Hmm. So, yep, waiting for the size 5. Although this morning I was thinking I'm really wanting to do the dark and stormy too, and I have the yarn for that. So, and that's size seven needles, which I have. <laughs> so. See, those are the projects you need to start casting on, and the ones that don't use size five. And yeah, I had I just thought of that light bulb moment this today. That oh, I wonder what size that one. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely I'm going to be doing that out of the Lion Brand chocolate. Oh, Colored is that the uh, the fisherman's yeah, wool? Yeah, fisherman's wool that yeah. you got me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It'll cool. look pretty nice in that. It should. I think. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> I think. came to a stall. Well, I think that means it's... Uh, Why are teddy bears never hungry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is filler. <laughs> filler. Because they're always stuffed. <laughs> Well, the filler kind of went with it. As I, I know. <laughs> Pun intended. Huh? Yeah. All right. That was pretty good, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> well, let's get on to Roundup then. Round I think we're. Up. Uh, yeah, that's all you. That's, oh, that's all me, huh? All right. Well, once again, I wanted to remind you that we have the Wolf Farm video podcast button. You can get one of those for free with any paid order at Wolf Farms. Just ask for that in the comments section while you're checking out. We'll be happy to stick that into your order. So we're. Packing it up. I had you, a fuzz in my you eye. You blinking at me? I'm blinking at you. <laughs> but I think that about does it. So. Yeah, short time with you guys yeah, this week. Or just half an hour. So. Yeah. Maybe next week will be chock full of uh, more good stuff. But. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking, Got what's happening right? during the week? <laughs> Another busy week is what it is. <laughs> yep. So until next time, let's get cracking and hatching it. Bye. Bye. Bye.